Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today I'm recording lessons for My Design Center. These lessons are part of the new owner series. I hope you will enjoy watching the lesson and then I also hope that you'll be encouraged to use your machine and try some of these things yourself. Okay, at the machine, the first thing I want to show you is the scanning hoop. So let me zoom you in. We'll turn the camera around so you can see the, this hoop. And you'll notice that I've placed the magnets inside the gray border. And what I'm trying to do, and I'll zoom out a little bit, is place those far enough down on the bottom of this image so that they won't be inside the image whenever I scan it. So we'll go into my design center. At the top of my design center, you see this leaf pattern. Now this leaf takes you into the scanning menus. You'll see image scan, line design, and illustration. The image scan is used whenever you're wanting to have a background image and you're going to trace the artwork. In this case, I want the software in the machine to trace that image for me. So I'm going to choose the line design. Now the next thing I can choose is where, what is the source of that file. I can scan it directly from the scanning hoop or I can import it using a USB stick or an SD card. Let's choose scan. Now it will move that frame and you can see that it says it's recognizing it. If I turn my camera around, you'll see that this is going to move and you need to make sure you have adequate space for your hoop to move far enough back. And we'll wait till it recognizes the image. Now I will be using my mouse. With the mouse, it's a simple Logic Tech mouse. It is a wired mouse and I only use my left button. You'll notice, first of all, that you have these arrows here. Now, what this does is it allows you to move this up so that you can eliminate some portions of, of this design if you want to, and I moved it too far. I'm cutting off a foot. So let me move it up. And it's very sensitive with the mouse, and so let me move it out. That's good. And we'll move it down from the top. That's good. Now you notice that we have grayscale detection and you'll also see there's a stitch type selected. If you didn't want to use the satin stitch, you should select the stitch type that you want in the beginning. And then what you would do is change it to a different stitch type. I'll show you that when we scan the next object. You have the grayscale detection here, and what we'll do is we'll leave it in the middle and choose OK, and we'll see if how much it's picked up. Now you notice that there are some things that are missing here, and some of those dots I didn't want to have in the image, so that it's not so bad that it, it has eliminated try that. the highest level and retry. And I actually think that looks good. So we'll go ahead and choose set. All right, now you will notice that the background image is still available and it is available, you can darken it up. So if there's some things you want to trace over and pick up, you can do that. You can reduce it by Re reducing the level here by going to the left. Looking at this to see if there's anything that I want to adjust. Now one thing that I notice is the eye isn't showing up and there's some little dots in here that were uh, part of the design that I want to eliminate. To do that, I first of all, I do not want to resize this. So I'll go in and let's go to 400%. I'll use the hand to pan. And I'm going to erase these little dots that are part of the ribbon and some of this. So I'll go to the eraser. The round eraser is fine. I'll leave it at the, that size. And what I'll do is erase the things that I do not want. 
So the thing that you need to do is you need to reduce the size of the eraser if you need it to be, be smaller so that you can actually get all the detail you want. You just practice on this and if you erase something that you wanted to keep, then what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and take your drawing tools and add that back. And I did erase a couple of things that I didn't want to erase. So what I'll do is I'll select the drawing tool and I need to make sure that I select the color that I'm going to use black's fine because that's what I was using. I'll zoom in a little bit more so I can actually see this. And now I want to connect that line. So I have that connected. I'll use the hand, move down and I need to connect right here and I need to deselect the hand in order to do this. So I need to just add a couple of pixels in here and close that up. And then if I want to erase a couple of more places, I can do that as well. All right, now let me pan with the hand. And the eye right now is just a dash and I really want to make that a small circle eye. So let's go into our drawing tools. We're going to have a closed shape. We'll choose okay. And I know the eye is here. So what I'm going to do is try to draw a circle. And that's not too bad. I'll leave it like it is. And then what I'm going to do is zoom in and try to erase the center of that. So we'll go to the eraser. We have a small tip. Let's choose a round tip. And that wasn't small enough. Let's undo, go back to eraser, and let's make this even smaller. All right, and let's try again. Because we're going to fill in this space with stitches. That's good. We'll go back to 100% and then we're going to clean up a little bit on the ribbon on the tail. It has the bow and we're going to erase a lot of this detail here that's really not necessary. All right? And we'll clean that out. hundred percent. So that looks pretty good. Now I said I wanted to fill in the eye. So I'll take the bucket and let's get a fill stitch. I want it to be, we'll make it gray or a dark gray and choose okay. And we'll fill the eye. Now to do that, I need to zoom in to see that eye. So here's the eye. I'll take that bucket and I'll just fill that in. And then let's go ahead and go back to 100%. And the rest of this looks okay. And I might want to fill in the collar and the bow and make them a, a color as well. So we'll select a color. So we'll go to the color chip. Let's choose a hot pink. We'll choose okay. We'll fill in the bow and and if you notice it made a clicking noise let's see if that bow is closed in it is let's go ahead and try filling it again there we go and then we filled the collar so let's go ahead and go back to a hundred percent we'll choose next and this is what our design is going to look like. Now, actually, I think that looks very good. I'm going to save it to memory. I'm not going to make any adjustments on my stitches. I'm going to use the default values. And I'll save this to the machine and I'll choose set and choose okay. And let's go in and look at and how this would actually stitch out. Notice that I didn't do was fill in the nose. But because I saved this, I can go back and edit that file. So we're going to do that. But otherwise, I think this would be very nice. Let's just close it. 
We're not going to save it. We're just going to choose the lead, choose okay. We're, we'll go back to my design center. We're going to retrieve that design from memory and select okay. And then what we're going to do is go back in to let's say 800% or 400%, use the hand and pan over to where the nose is. And you can see the nose here. And I want to fill that. So I'll go ahead and fill that area with gray as well. You can see that looks nice. We'll zoom back out to 100%. That looks much better. Now the eye does look rather small, but I'm going to leave it like it is. I'll save this to memory. And by the way, when you are in my design center, you can look at the stitch player here as well. So let's look at the stitch player here and we'll enlarge this and we'll watch this play out. We'll speed it up. So you'll get an idea of what this looks like. Fast forward this video since you've seen it scan once before and then after it's scanned, we'll meet up. Now that it's finished scanning, what we're going to do is the same thing we did in the previous illustration. We'll adjust this so we can cut out the magnets. And if, if you were unable to do that, all you have to do is use your eraser to erase it. Again, this is going to be in a zigzag stitch. If I wanted it to be a different stitch, I should have selected that stitch before I scanned it. I'll go ahead and choose OK. It looks like that it's picked up all of that design, so I'll choose Set. Now what I can do, if I want to resize this, I can resize it. So I'll go into my settings and right now we're in millimeters. Let's go to page nine and change it to inches and choose okay. And I'm going to reduce the background so we no longer see the artwork. I can see that I have nice continuous lines. And if I want to change the color of this, I can do that. So let's just change the color chip and make it a red and select OK. We'll take that bucket and apply it. And this is one way you're going to see whether you have closed lines all the way around your design. So you notice that that all colored in well. What we need to do now is to select it all and I, you will notice that I have this option because I have the upgrade kit. If you didn't have the upgrade kit, you can choose the selection and draw that bounding box around your design. I'll go into size and I want to reduce the size of this so it'll fit in a four by four frame. So now I have it a much smaller size. I'll choose okay. I'll choose next. And this is where I have my width of satin stitches, and perhaps I don't want this to be a satin stitch. Instead, I'd rather it be a running stitch. I can change it. So to change it, all I need to do, first of all, I like to see my stitches in millimeters, so I'll change this back to millimeter. And then what I'm going to do is change my stitch type so that it is a triple running stitch. We'll change the color to a dark blue, choose OK. And it applied that to the outside line, right? So we now have this entire design in the running stitch. What I'm going to do is save it to memory. We'll choose set and choose OK. Now let's see how this would stitch out. So I'll zoom you in so you can actually see it. And we'll stitch this out on the stitch player. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel and join me in Facebook in the Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire group. In that group, you'll have several people who will be willing to help you with your machine. Thanks and have a great day.